much to elevate. So, so we're just talking about project and the power of what was happening when we were doing project. Now, Project International was um, a group of like-minded people coming together on a weekly basis to 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 build leaders. It's an environment where leaders are built, speakers mm-hmm. are built. It's mm-hmm. a safe environment, like Mr. Phil, Mr. Phil, you know, coined this um, togetherness, where he was saying we need we need to build the same language. We are. Yeah. We had um, three pillars that project was built on. Motive is, for mm-hmm. example, mm-hmm. and there was there was a lot of people that came through the doors and joined us. Yes, and at the time we were all very young, and we did Be not. For yourself. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was I was young to carry. We all had hair at the time. <laughs> we were younger. Were. <laughs> You were younger. <laughs> we all had hair, definitely. <laughs> uh, so it was, it was, it was, a, and it was a powerful, powerful um, method that we were employing. But because we did not, we haven't been through it before, we did not articulate it or realize what we were building. But we are putting the building cell and uh, building blocks together mm-hmm. to create the kind of future that we read about in books that we're listening to on tapes, that we're dreaming about. And we're kind of like forcing ourselves into that future. Mm. Mm. And because, we, I mean, we, we saw the benefits because things were happening. Mm-hmm. Things that you couldn't plan were happening. You know, people were leaving projects, going back to their workplace with a purpose, with, yep. a, with a mission. Yep. And, they, they, and they kept coming back and the team was growing. And it was attacked. Like everything will be attacked, and because <laughs> because we didn't really understand it, we couldn't really protect it like we should have, mm. you know. Because there comes a time where, when you're doing something like that and and it's attacked, that's the time you just have to be bold enough to say, "I see that you know you want to go in a different direction." I totally respect that. So, um, so that you don't. Um, deter us from the direction we're going in or take our focus of what we're doing here do your you go, be, go do you you know you have my full support go and do you you know what I'm saying and people should because you know project started with just one person Mr. Phil meeting mm-hmm. by himself mm-hmm. and talking to himself in the room like <laughs> a madman you know and I used to <laughs> I used to watch him and go, this guy, this guy is really gone. <laughs> he's really gone. He's lost it. Because he used to meet up by himself, you know, yeah, Project International. Blah, blah, blah. So, and then I started attending, and, and, uh, you know, and, and then before he knew it, the room was packed, you know. So that's, that's, that's something that I think as we progress on into the future and as we now know that we are the creators of our future, you know, the future is not something that you walk into by chance. You actually have the ability to create your future. Mm. You know, and a lot of the, the things we were taught um, back in the day of dream building, designing your life, knowing what you want to be, where you are, how you want to live, all those things are real. Because that is, this, this construct that we call life, it's not solid. It's not, it's like the matrix. You it's, imp- it's impermanent. It. It's impermanent, isn't it? Exactly. So you you get to change and mold it to what you mm. want it to be. Mm. You know. So um, so I hope that kind of helps, Mr. Phil. But the thing is, let, let me to to bottle us oh. to that fact was about pure motive. Yeah. Mm. It's about pure motive. When I heard. The, when he said pure motive, how he broke down what pure motive was, that's what got me. Mm, mm. That's what got me because I'm a, I'm a words person. So the thing is, when he said pure motive and then he broke it down, a lot of people did not get it because, you know, when you're coming from a place of competition and he's coming and saying collaboration, the people who hear collaboration remain. The people who hear competition leave. 
mm. pure motive is the big thing. Mm. That that's the big that's the big thing for me. Because when you know, you're the, doing something a con connection homie. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, go ahead. I, I didn't mean to call you. you no, know, because there's so many things that you guys have said, and I don't want to forget. I know, know movable parts, right? Like, like, movable parts. One of the things that Mr. Kinnear said about creating our future. Okay, back then in projects. I instinctively knew how powerful what we were building was. Mm -hmm. And I instinctively knew that we had to protect it. But how to protect it, I didn't know. How to, um, how to protect it, now I know. Now I know how to do that. But mm -hmm. I think we had to go through that. And one of the yes. things that Mr. said, one of the things that Claire said is that um, our future, we create our future. Actually, I would say the only the only future that you actually experience is the one that you create. Of course, mm. or the one that's created for you. Again, no. That's still because if it's created for you, you've allowed it to be created for you. That's what I'm saying. Yes, I'm saying. So it's those two. One created so for you, active. or the one you created for. Yes. Thank you. You are still active, so you yes. can't say, "Oh, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to go into a future created." To by the government. I'm going to go into a future created by my neighbor. I'm going to go into the future created by You're my You're still family. allowing that. It's still your choice to do that. And by you allowing that, you are actually creating. Yeah. So there's no human being on earth right now that is actually not creating his or her future. So now whether that we like know- it, Whether like it or not. Things, <laughs> thank you. One of the things that Claire is alluding to now that is now that we know that, doesn't it make sense to be seriously active and seriously yeah. interested in yes. building this future that we know we have no choice but to be the creator of. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. It is, <laughs> it is, it is, um, I think, you know, because we don't know how powerful we are. Mm. And we need to remember how powerful we are. <laughs> that, that, well, I, I, I always say this, we are powerful more we are, we are powerful beyond measure. Mm. That's my that's my 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 um, motto, my axiom. We are powerful mm. beyond measure, beyond measure. You mm. can't measure it because the minute you know how powerful you are, you carry yourself differently, don't you? You would totally know that you cannot afford that. Oh, is that's why I have responsibility in creating my future. Yes. That's why. I do. I have a part to play. Yes. You wow. Know? Wow. So that's why. Because I'm so learn powerful. your script. So learn your script. Come on the stage. Do because your part. I'm, walk off. That's yeah, it. Because I'm I'm so powerful that I cannot be ignored. Ooh, they cannot like that one of me yes. and start doing things that I don't sign off on. Yes, <laughs> and that you know, in in, uh, in philosophy, historic philosophy, that's called reasoned choice. When you mm. make a reasoned choice, you will not allow yourself to be carried. You make the decision. You move as you desire to move. Mm. So, reasoned choice, big time. Now, one of the things that we're talking about is that when people actually then leave our environment, they now go out there. And they obviously do not did not appreciate what they had when they had it. And then they go out there and they spend five years, sometimes even 10 years, and they go looking and they don't find it. And you know, I'm not gonna mention the person's name. Do you know the first thing that the person told me when it when he went when he when he reconnected with me? He said, mm. um, I was talking to people about projects, mm. about the concept of projects. You can tell that he has not found anything else out there. No. Do you know what I'm saying? You can tell no. that he is he's now behind, not, not because that, that is, I'm not talking about good or bad and that, but he needs to catch up now because we've never left that environment. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that, that's the thing because he, he, even though project is no more, mm -hmm. But he, he, he's still inside of him. Of course. But the thing is, though, all he has is what was. Thank you. Projects already evolved. 
Thank you. To Absolutely. express. So, so he hasn't come on this journey. So how do you now go? Do you go back and go get them? And no, you meet us where we are at. You have to do Thank the work. You. That's you. Thank you. And you see, Projects has now evolved into Gift Genius. There you go. So there's because a whole if you heap, look at it, leaps Mr. and Clare, If you look at it, Mr. Clay, if you look at it, um, Zari, Gift Genius is simply projects with cash flow. Hmm. Yeah. 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 With serious cash flow. Ooh. So projects. So projects basically prepared. Thank it you. It was a launching no. pad for Gift Genius. Projects, projects, look, the issue that I had with projects then, and it was, I didn't hide it from people, was that it got to a point where we had all this good information. And then the question was, what do we do with it? And that was and the biggest I now thing. Felt, yeah. I now felt the responsibility to answer the question. And the, the answer I found then was to take everybody into network marketing. And we know what happened with network marketing. We know we tried people. that. We tried that, didn't we? Thank you. It was Thank part you. of the journey. Thank you. It had its failings. Now, yeah. we are now at a point where Deep Genius is now projects evolved, projects more powerful, projects that, that have the potential, like Mr. Clare said, it's not only serious cash flow, but it, it, it has the potential to go around the world now. There's nothing loading it now. Before, mm -hmm. it was only a plastic. What are your thoughts, Mr. Clare? Yeah. Yeah. Um... It's, it is, you know, like we we have not stood still. No. Now the 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 the, the Skoda of yesterday is now a Ferrari. Wow. And and not only is it a Ferrari, even our expectations of people that we mix with now is totally different. Of course. Because before we were trying to convince people to go on this journey with us. <laughs> now we don't do that at all anymore, do we? Now no the, the mindset is totally different. There's they no choose. Need. They choose. Them, and they have to choose. The few they that choose. The few that choose. That's it. And, it's not about... and people are dismissed very quickly. <laughs> in, the, in, in the nicest possible way, of course. <laughs> Because what I told him, what I told him is that he needs to that because he was chatting with me on WhatsApp, and I told him you have to come, you have to come um, on a Zoom meeting. There's no rush. There's a lot for you to catch up on. And I said, Mr. Clay actually has to be on that Zoom meeting too, because as far as I remember, I still work through lines of introduction. Yeah, and I remember. I got to know you through Mr. Clay. There so, you go. So now it's good genius. And you need to basically. So so again, I just wonder why. Well, maybe it's important, maybe it's part of the journey that they have to go and go everywhere only to circle back. To but, us. but yeah, but that's the hero story, isn't it? It's a hero story. The hero has to leave where they've grown but they think there's something, there's something about them. So they get to go on a journey, then mm -hmm. circle back to, that's like, I've read the, uh, the Alchemist. That's exactly what it is. Okay. The guy, yeah, left, I... the, guy looking, the guy was looking for, and came all the way back to find out where he left was exactly where the treasure was Thank looking for. Duh. Now, the key though, that I can't help but thinking, and I think Mr. Kuhn alluded to this, I can't help but thinking that there must have come to a time when they thought, yeah, this is great. But I'm not sure, Mr. Phil, yeah, we, 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 we know all these things are great and we know, but I think, yeah, Mr. Phil is going to just be there. You know, I can go off and come, I can go off. You understand what I'm saying? And mm. they will still be where, where we left them. Mm. I can't help but feel, I know a lot of people will say, no, I didn't think like that. No, I didn't say that. No, I didn't. Da, 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 da. But your action speaks. And I think what it is is that they, but it never ceases to, I never miss the point. That's the point that I'm trying to make. I never miss the point that they go all around, sometimes for 10 years, and they never come back and say, I found something more powerful than what you got. 
Here it is. They never come and they never, they never come and back and say that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's usually, it's usually. Let's see what's going on now, Mr. Claire. Well, that that is that is our people for you because, you know, you what we this what we what we were doing in project, which again I must emphasize is the fact that the the sport we're in is a team sport. Yeah. It's not an individual sport. Mm. Even individual sports are not individual sports. They're still team sports. You know, if you see a, a tennis player, for example, there's a team behind that tennis player. If you see an athlete, athlete there's a team behind that athlete. Wow. If you see yeah. UFC, UFC, a boxer, UFC fighter, there's a team behind them. You know, so even, so there are no individual sports. The universe has made us that we must work in teams, mm. whether we like it or not. So when it comes to the world of business and the world of creating the futures that we're talking about, then it's a team effort. Mm. And because it's a team effort, if you go on, on your own, the only thing you'll be looking for is a team to join. Wow. Mm. Wow. Yes. And you know what is what is interesting about that, Mr. Claire? When you go looking for a team and you find a new team, guess what? It is a new team. Mm -hmm. That means you have to start from <laughs> zero with them. Yeah. You have to yeah. start building <laughs> your history with them. Thank you. Your motive with them. Thank you. You're proving your motive, showing your examples with them. So history, motive, history, example is, is right there with you. And wow. it would take time because if then nobody has that track record with you, they wouldn't trust you. There's and the thing is, yeah, but, yeah, but can you see that it's, it's all got to do with what you do within you? Mm. If you haven't joined the dots within, you cannot join the dots without. Mm. So most people go with dependence codependence where they get very they're looking for other teams they want to co-depend on that doesn't work so you don't get it to independence so most people that is where the individual comes in where you have to know this for yourself then you now move to interdependence this is the teams which means there's a part for you to play now the right team you attract the right team and you just slot in and the cogs begin to work perfectly. That's exactly how I saw projects and it turned to connect me, then it came to, and everybody's in their places and the capacity for us to go into other things, to add more feathers to our caps, the possibilities. Definitely, are definitely. Anyways. Look, there's, there, there is method to, to this madness. And there I say to my madness. And the reason is this, if you look at it, <laughs> projects, was just personal development. Yes. Then it evolved to connect me, which was personal development plus network marketing. Yes. Then it that evolved to give genius, which is personal development. Take out the network marketing because we don't want the problem saying that. And put the cash in. <laughs> Slot in. The cash cash. Yeah. But Mr. Clay, do you know what guys here? Yeah? That Mr. Clay alluded to that is a so immense power cash flow. But do you know what is funny, Mr. Clay and Zari? I was speaking to, oh, let me tell you this story. And I, I, I will invite him to one of our meetings. Let me quickly tell you this story. I was at the job. And this guy literally walked through the door. I was sitting. He came through the door. And guess what he did? He went, my brother. I'm like, who's this? <laughs> <laughs> Literally, the guy walked there and went, my brother! I'm like, huh? Then he said, oh, I didn't hit your hand. I said, what? <laughs> I said, hello, how you doing? You know? He said, you know what? You're my brother. Anyway, what happened? Who the heck are you? Thank you. <laughs> let me give you the backstory to this. Okay, let me, before I give you the backstory, Last time I spoke to him, I spoke to him last time I was on shift and uh, about three days ago. You know what he said to me? He said, I need to give you my 100 pounds. 
I need to gift you my hundred pounds. I'm like, oh, we're, we're, we're having some issues with the website now. Um, hold on. He said, I don't care. I don't know why oh, I'm dear. waiting. Oh, dear. See, you don't have to look for that one. I don't see why I'm waiting. He said, what's the what the fun? I don't care about the website. I just want to get my gift in your hand. <laughs> wow. Honestly. And what does that say? Okay, let me now give you the backstory. The backstory is this. In the building, his younger brother manages one of the flats in the building. And I've probably only spoken to this younger brother maybe maximum three, four times. And sometimes I give him chance to park on the premises. And that's it too. This guy has gone to tell his older brother somewhere in the Midlands about this guy in London. <laughs> you know mm. what I'm saying? Power of influence. That they have said, they've, they've spoken enough about me and I'm not, I'm not even, uh, all I've just said to the younger brother is, hi, you doing? Okay, all right, yeah, you can park, whatever, okay, yes, blah, 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 blah. all right, but don't, don't park too long, whatever, blah, 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 these are the things, you know, that's what I did with the younger brother, but they, they've got to talk about me over there, that the older brother felt comfortable enough to come and see me for the first time in his life, and go, yeah, my brother! <laughs> wow. Now, Zari, now I know, his name is Jason. Now I know Jason enough to agree with Jason that he is my brother, honestly. Mm, because of the language, because there's a lot of components, moving components here that makes that the truth. Now I know in the depths of my heart that Jason is my brother. We've, we, we've spoken, we've done so many things there. Leia is the one that gave me the link to Osman. Okay, yes, you said, you said. He's the one, yeah, you know. Wow, 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 wow. He's brought people to come and look at. <laughs> he's brought like, people like, to come and look at. Like that you said, there's so effect. many moving parts. That moving parts, man. It's a moving part, he's, man. He's already brought someone to come and have a look at Gift Genius for me because I told him we're having problems with the, with the site. He's, wow, he wow. said he's going to speak to other people to see if they're going to be programmers that can help us without me saying anything. He's invited me to his flat to, you know, and so again, this guy chose himself to be my brother. <laughs> it's a yet again choice. But Thank the thing you. is, what well, can you not see also that the universe always provides for every, it, it's always provision right there. And they come in different ways, different faces, but the motive is the, the pure motive is the clincher. And even if he yeah, did that and left, he's done what he's going to do. The yeah. name Jason yeah. is actually deceptive because the guy is Bengali. Oh, then okay. remember Heron? Remember Heron? Okay, yeah, it's true, it's true. It was it's Harun. True. I said it to Heron, they're all indecisive stuff. But honestly, Leia, this guy is my brother, just as you are my brother, honestly, because you can see the guy is not only sold out. He told me, he said, he said, we must have met in heaven somewhere and we decided that we you know we connect on that. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, very, maybe so. Very, maybe very so. possible at this time, you know, especially yeah. at this time. You know time. what I'm saying? So, but the point I'm trying to make again um, to end, to round this off is that this guy cannot wait to get his gift in my hand. Meanwhile, some people act, still doubt that this vibration will attract your, your, your tribe to you. Mm. And you must build your tribe. You mm. must build your tribe. And which better way? Because you see, what people forget is this. <clears throat> and this is where I'm going to end. Honestly, I took it so serious when I saw the issues in my community. I took it serious. I took it serious that we struggle with cash, I took it serious that we don't trust each other. I took it serious that we need to cooperate. I took it serious that we need to build together. I took it serious. I took it to my bed that night, cracked in my brain for mm. years. But because I took it that serious, a lot of people look at me and they say, well, where is his Mercedes? Where is his house? He must not know what he's talking about. He must not. It sounds good, but he must not know. And they don't realize that what it is that I realized earlier that if this is going to be for real, 
it has to be for real, for real. Otherwise, I'll just be do doing the same things that has been done in the past and has never worked long term. Mm. Mm. Indeed. Indeed. So I knew that I cannot afford to be flashy on top with no substance. Indeed. I knew I had to build substance first so that if the flash comes, it is built on the foundation of mm. real substance. Mm. Mm. And because of that, I've been overlooked. I've been, I've lost relationship. I've been laughed at. I've been, but I don't mind none of that. Because you know what? In the long run, I'm not saying this person is the one that did it, but in the long run, guess what they do? They will still circle back and find us far ahead. Mr. Kaleye, please. Wow. It just, it, this, what you just said there leads us to what I think the topic you said we're going to talk about tonight. Yep. In terms of being, being, you know, because a lot of people, and even this week has been it's been amazing because there's been people that, you know, they're playing a character. Mm. You know how somebody can can be an actor mm. <laughs> and play a part in a movie. Mm. A character, yeah. And that's, and that's totally different to who they are in real life. Yes. You know, but they're not doing this on a movie set. They're doing this in real life. Mm. The you big know, the stage. Guy that, the, the guy that comes to mind is Donaldson Sharp, you know, where he, he, and and people like that. Even Derek Jackson's another one that comes to mind. Is that two, two guys has been exposed in just this last week? Derek they, they, Donovan Sharp has been exposed. <laughs> yes. Over what? <laughs> Who, who um, is this person? You know, this is the, 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 that's not the topic. Yeah, that's okay. not the topic. You have, you know, okay, you have to talk to me about Donovan Sharp. Anyway, yes, 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 let's, yes. let's but, round up so that we give Black Zari the last word and then we'll just end this one. Yeah, Mr. Zari. <laughs> what, oh. what am I saying? I was asking a question. <laughs> who is Donovan Sharp? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I don't ask your question. Ask your question. Ask your question. Donovan Sharp is a YouTuber. And, oh, another um, one. Derek Jackson is another YouTuber. Okay. And what you find is that these guys are actually playing a character, you know, and they're not, they're not being authentic to themselves. Mm. Um, mm. But one, one thing, one thing that is very evident is actually the public don't mind whether you play a character or you don't play a character. Do you understand? You might lose mm. credibility and respect, but if you're yourself, your authentic self, then you don't need to be playing a character. You can just be of course, free to be of course, you can just of be course. yourself. However, it comes with a price, and that is why a lot of people don't do it. It comes with a price because you see, when you're being authentic, you can't play the fake game. And now, however, the fake game is very tempting because with the fake game, you can fake to be who you are not. Mm. Which is really higher, 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 higher. You can do it with your car, you drive, the place you live in, even though it's all on debt. You can, you, the clothes you wear, you understand what I'm saying? Mm. And unfortunately, that is what the world judges you on straight away. But mm. it takes deep, deep um, discipline, character to basically say, you know what, that will come later. That will come later. And when it comes, it will come correct. You know, many people don't pay that price, you know. Mm. It's delayed gratification. You know, yeah. delayed gratification. You know, yeah. and and because we all want to be the music video um <laughs> celebrity, you know, we wanna we wanna wanna want it now. <laughs> you know. We... But 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 the thing is, you see how silly. That oh is. my goodness! So, so, so the, oh, even the whole world as it is with the Instagram. In fact, in the age of social media, it has become very toxic. Before social media, people were doing that stuff, but we didn't. You didn't see all of them. Only the ones we knew of. Now the whole world is playing a game with itself. It's like it's playing his own mm-hmm. willy and wondering something's going to happen. But the whole point is, but the authenticity is that it's looked down upon. For you to be mm-hmm. real, for you to say, I know my truth. They don't want to hear that because the accoutrements 
the shiny things are more to them than the foundation. And like, I remember from way back when projects time, I remember you said something about the people who actually have money. We don't know them. No. The people who command um, great uh, uh, financial, we don't, they are, they are where they're at doing what they're doing. So the guys who are up top who are shouting and screaming don't have much. They're just yeah. shouting and screaming until they fall over like these two fellas <laughs> who have just shown themselves for who they are. Crocodiles. Em 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 empty barrels make the loudest noise, right? There you go. <laughs> there you go. And the thing is, they will come, other people will come. And it's a, but nobody is, is set, it's about personal growth. Which is, which is why I said, you know, it, it's not, it's not like a bad thing or a good thing. No, um, no, it's, it's happening. Bad. It's happening. You're yeah. being authentic. It's good. No, no, no. Because no. the universe actually uh, makes a space for all of that to say, okay, oh, yes. no, you, can, you can be fake and you yes. get the results of being fake. Yeah, until you don't want it and anymore. You go through that <laughs> and then you choose again. And you choose again. Yeah. Of, of you deciding what to do next, you know? Yeah. Are you going to continue to be fake or are you going to turn to be now authentic? So it's about or choose again, basically. You can choose again all the time. You Keep know? choosing. Or, or, or you, you get to a place where you actually say, you know what? Yes, I've been playing a character and you know, I, now, I now want to be myself. And yes. you might not like the real self. I might, it might not be as profitable as my character, <laughs> which is... But, so, but, but, but the profit is not about money. The profit really is about you being able to which, face yourself in the where, mirror. Which is where they, then, they, they then have to reconcile the fact that, okay, dollar amount, how much am I paying for this dollar amount? Is it yes. worth the price I'm paying for this the dollar price, amount? yes, yes. Yes. You know, is it worth the legacy I'm leaving behind for this dollar amount? Yeah. Where people can then over you, because this conversation with God is, you know, is just helping to round me up to say, you know what? You know, don't, it's not, it's not about, oh, you're wrong. Oh, you're right. You know, oh. Everybody is okay doing what they're doing. But the thing is, in the, in, in, in the CWG, CWG well, journey. I'm to play here because. Yeah. I can promise you that you I'm so glad that you are on that journey and don't call it the God journey. It's conversations <laughs> with God. <laughs> but you ain't seen nothing yet. And I, I haven't. I'm even excited to see you blossom, Mr. Clay. Honestly, I'm even excited because I am blossoming and I'm seeing that there are dimensions. And there are levels to this. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And you know the beautiful thing about it is that the levels is not even in the information in what you're hearing. That's not where the levels is. The levels are in what the information that you're hearing unlocks in you. Helps, you. helps you remember. In you. Remember. Oh, so oh, this is the remembering. Yeah. But, but there's a line in the book that says... If you don't go within, mm -hmm. you go without. Yeah. And this is the crux of this conversation. If you don't go within, you go without. A lot of people are going without, wondering what's going on. Because they, they, they're staying in non-remembrance. Yes, know. Actually, actually, forgetfulness. In forgetfulness, that's the word. When you're in forgetfulness, you ain't remembering. When you remember, it, it cures all of that. Because when you Let's remember, you, gentlemen, we're gonna title this one um, <laughs> "The Evolution of Gift Genius." Okay, mm. the evolution of Gift Genius, and um, thank you so much, guys, for being on the journey with me. I am so privileged to have people like you on the journey with me. You know, and um, I am so thankful that um, the journey itself validates itself. When mm. people go off and they come back, they find us way ahead. Mm. Way ahead. Because like Mr. Clare said, this is a team sport. What is, what is exciting me the most today came from my network. It came through the people I'm connected with. Mr. Zari, you're the one that introduced me to, converse, um, to conversation with God. Yeah. Mm. You yeah. Know, you're, yeah. The, you're the route. And, you know, and when you even 
when you even um, introduced me to that information, you didn't tell me, <gasps> you have to listen to them. <laughs> you have to listen. I, I, I let you come into it by yourself. That's right. I just, just do it, you know. This is something that you might just want to have a listen to and read, you know, and just, you know. And I, I, I said, okay, I will, you know. <laughs> now, thank <laughs> It took me about three weeks before I said, ah, that is that Zari said, okay, let me listen to it. And from the moment I'm like, boom, God. <laughs> I even think I did it in such a way that I came back to you and you like, oh, let me look at this information even more now. <laughs> yes, yes, I did. I, I, I did, yeah. So you, you, you get encouraged going forward because you actually, we, we, I mean, for, I think the, the journey is, is moving parts but it's a movable feast. Some parts you enjoy, depends on which part gets us the most, but we're mm. in, the, we're on yeah. that yeah. journey. Yeah. We are moving with it, we're evolving, you know? So let us, let us end by just saying, nothing or nothing can beat cooperation. Cooperation, can collaboration build. is everything. Nothing you, know, can... you know what I learned the other day? I learned yeah. about um, that, you know, like the Sistine Chapel, the Wright brothers, all the innovations from the 19th century. We were given the impression that they all did it by themselves. <laughs> the thing is, it's come out now is that even Wolfgang, Amadeus, whatever, uh, Mozart, they all collaborated to get things done so it, it all comes back to it just comes back down to it that we all what, we are all working together it's the teamwork that makes teamwork. the dream work hmm. yeah those are some bites that we just say but they're everything yeah, but the, oh they're say, everything yeah can I say Wait. That? even even when you see even when you see can I said this even when you see a professional athlete they've got a team, the whole team behind them yeah Mr. Clay, you have the last word. Boy, um, I don't know how, how do you we, follow that? We, we stumbled into this, but, um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but this is some deep stuff for you listening. You're probably scratching your head now. You know, I need to listen to this again because I, I'm sure I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. you know, um, wherever you are listening to this, this is, this is some deep information. And some things that you just need to meditate on, you know, because we're still meditating on a lot of things. Yeah, you know, still growing. So, still growing. Well, so, again, let's keep it simple. Oh, sorry, Mr. Claire, sorry, you were gonna finish. No, 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 please round up, round up. Well, let's just keep it simple. Nothing, nothing beats teamwork. Yes, that's what all this is about. Nothing. It's you building a network of people around yourself that you're going to work with, that you're going to collaborate with, that you're going to mm. link hands with, that you're mm. going to be, um, that, that you're going to share with. Nothing beats that yeah. because the alternative, like Mr. Kinley said, is you're going to go on your own. And that's going the opposite direction mm. to everything that works in life. And let me probably just um introduce this i know we're closing but you see i'm beginning to see life as you are a creator in the midst of creators yes with a god that is a creator now think about it yes yes like mr Clay said we're going deep but sorry we have to go deep we can't help you're, it <laughs> you're a creator amongst creators yes with a God that is a creator over all of you. So that yeah. means that look, you can't just create in a vacuum. That's what that means. Yes. That means that you have to create under the sovereignty, uh, respecting the sovereignty of all other creators around you. Yes. And that is why people find it very difficult to create because you see, you can't create in this world with impunity, with um, no regard, with no um, thingy. Because you see, your creation 
affects other creators. Absolutely, yes. And that is the problem that is actually going on with this corona thing right now. Because there's, the some people, there's some people in this world right now that they are creators, but their creation is infringing on the sovereignty of, of other, a lot of many yes, more creators creative. that don't agree. Yes. <laughs> which 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 goes talks back to the fact that even though you design your future, mm. you, nobody can design your future for you. Thank no. you. They without need your to permission. Sign off on, without your permission. Yeah, permission. Sign yes. off on it. So you it goes back to it. that. So they are creators and we are all creators. And we almost all say, okay, you know what? We agree with you. Let's go ahead. Isn't the universe great? I'm telling Unbelievable. you. Unbelievable. <laughs> Absolutely. And that is Absolutely. why the team is everything. Because in the team, you are bringing together like minded people with the same vibration that are looking to create together. Yeah. And that becomes an immense powerful force that makes things happen. Yes. And that is why going into the future, I really am not looking for people of not, that are not of my vibration. No. I'm looking for guys like that guy that saw me for the first time in life. I said, hey, brother, look, yeah. I can't argue with that. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. I can't argue with that. See, if, if I'm, I'm, I've actually got to a point in my life now that if I'm struggling with people or I'm struggling with a situation or I'm struggling with a circumstance and it's like I've come to a point now that I'm telling myself quickly realize stop you are efforting yeah god bless you you are you effort. are efforting mate. that is Mr. Zaris Mr. Zari's uh, contribution to the world. <laughs> you, are, you are efforting, man. When you find yourself efforting, 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 you're, it's all wrong. Because mm. life is not meant to be efforting. No. Life is meant to be creating. Enjoy. Nothing struggles. Nothing struggles. No, Nothing. It doesn't struggle. Really doesn't struggle to be a tree. Mm. It doesn't struggle to be a tree. It doesn't. Just a tree. It's just there. Does struggle to fly? No. The you know, bubble bee, the bubble bee looks like it's struggling, <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> so I think let's let's just um, end it here and mm. just say the team is all about the team. On that note, that's Mr. Seville signing off. Larry, mm. <laughs> and Zari. Thank you very much for having me. <laughs> God bless everybody, and we are out. out.